Libra Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy, and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soul pruners of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell so you can get notifications for any of the videos that I share here on the channel. So let's dive into your February 2020. What do you need to know? How can you best navigate this month? And um, I, I want to point out that I actually recorded half of this video already and um, realized that it wasn't recording. And <laughs> it's so funny because that's so perfect for this card that we have here first for your overarching theme. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, like I'm putting the work in and I'm not getting the reward. I really want the reward. I've been working really hard and maybe I'm not getting the acknowledgement that I want. I'm not getting... Um, you know, the raise that I had expected. I'm not getting paid, uh, compensated in the way that I would like to um, for the amount of work that I'm putting in. You know, my, my work is not being rewarded, basically. And this can be your work that you get paid for. This can just be the things that you're doing in your life. You're just not feeling appreciated, okay? I want to say that this is purposeful because this is meant to take you to the next level of where you're meant to go. It's meant to guide you. It's meant to show you that maybe it's time for you to shake things up a little bit. Maybe it's time for you to make some changes. This can sometimes come in when it's time for you to consider going back to school, whether um, it's time for you to consider learning some new things in some way. So that can be like just um, adding in some new skills, uh, a certification program, um, or even just self-help books or, or learning, whatever it is that you feel, whatever the ways that you feel called to grow, you want to follow through with those. That's going to be important for you here in this month because ultimately that is going to take you in the direction of being in a better situation where you are being rewarded, where you are being appreciated. And that's really um, meant to be that push to help send you in that direction. So rather than focus on, oh my God, this sucks and I'm not appreciated and to move too much into that energy, instead I would invite you to just use it as a way to redirect you and to refocus on what's next for you. So the next card that we have here showing up also in the theme category is the child nature card, okay? So this is a really simple message. Spend time out in nature. You know, if you don't know what the next step is for you, if you don't know what you feel called to focus on next, put your energy into next, uh, you know, you might be feeling unhappy, uncomfortable with the way things are, unappreciated, so what's next for you? And if you're not sure as to what those answers are, those answers can come through nature. So spending time outside, spending time in nature, spending time with animals. So any of that stuff is really going to help foster that. And at the end of the day, you are destined to follow your dreams. So making decisions for yourself that are in alignment with these dreams that you have. If you find yourself daydreaming about things, if you find yourself focusing on things a lot lately, and um, like these little dreams keep popping up in your head, that is for a reason. That's your intuition showing you the way. That is your intuition showing you. Maybe it's time to begin to take the next step or to take some steps in that direction. So listen to your intuition, follow that. That's gonna be really important for you. And then we have the Knight of Air reverse showing up for you. And this is in the challenges category. Okay, so um, when the Knight of Air is showing up reverse, that can be like, it feels like there's delays, it feels like things just aren't moving that rapidly, it doesn't feel like you're making a lot of progress, it doesn't feel like, you know, like the solutions that you're looking for are coming. But we are in February, some of February is going to be a period of, a lot of February is going to be Mercury retrograde, which is a period of reflection. It is not necessarily a time of action, a time of rapid moving energy. So allow yourself to use this to reflect, to figure out what your next move is, and um, to ultimately when it's time and when you feel compelled to, to take action in the direction of uh, of the dreams that you have, okay? Um, so, so have some patience here with this energy. And then we have the five of water reverse card showing up. And so for you, I do feel like there's been some stuff with relationships as well, okay? So this is um, 
in the gifts category of your reading, okay? The, the, the gifts that are showing up in this, this month. And the card itself says, things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. But I feel like this is like in the past for you and this is why this is showing up. And I feel like you are letting go of some things that maybe you've been holding on to that um, you're recognizing, eh, that's not really benefiting me to hold on to it. It's not been helpful to me and um, I'm really ready to let that go. I'm really ready to move forward. And this can be old relationships, old relationship patterns. This can be just issues that, interactions that have been tough with people or just situations that we find ourselves reliving and reliving and reliving. So allowing yourself to move forward. And I feel like you guys have started to take steps in that direction. Anything you can do to foster that, anything you can do to keep that moving forward, the better. So I really like this energy for you because then we have in this lessons category, the renewal card, okay? So you're letting go, you're releasing, you are moving forward and you are being renewed. You're stepping into this new energy. Your old stuff is just being washed away. And it doesn't mean that we completely get rid of our old past, but there is a renewal here happening for you. There is a fresh energy. There is something being sparked that's new, that's beautiful, that's um, freeing from the past. Okay, so there is a moving forward. And... Um, this message comes also with, or this card also comes with the message of, it's time to move in a new direction, okay? So whatever that means for you, whatever area of your life or several areas of your life, making those changes that you feel compelled to make to move your life in the direction of following your dreams, right? And then we have here, and this is a great energy, in the advice section, we have the Ace of Air. This is about working on your perceptions, working on the way that you view the world and I think that kind of naturally with this process that you've gone you're going through you're excuse me you're going to be finding yourself seeing things in a new light in a more positive light in a more hopeful light um you're going to see things um <laughs> I'm sorry I'm having trouble with work. you're going to see things like in a truthful way you know seeing the truth in a situation and seeing things for what they are, but also seeing things with a more positive perspective and seeing things in a new light. And this can also be just getting flooded with new ideas and inspiration and creative energy. So let that come, let that guide you, let that show you the way because I, th I think that this is going to be really important for you moving forward is like this foundation of positive thinking and um, tapping into that creative energy and allowing yourself to just be inspired. Because again, we want to be in that dream state. We want to daydream. We want to focus on our dreams. We want to let ourselves dream big and get excited about the things that we are wanting to move toward. And I think when we can do that, it changes everything. It changes our energy. It changes what we're manifesting because suddenly we're changing our magnet, right? We're changing the magnet, the energy of what we're putting out there. And so we're pulling in different experiences, better thoughts, better perceptions, more positive thoughts, better manifestations, period. So anything you can do to foster working on your thoughts and your thinking, to foster just dreaming and daydreaming and being inspired and creativity, the better for you. The next card that we have here is in the what else section, okay? And we have the two of water reversed, okay? So this can be a, a disconnection from a relationship, a, a, a letting go. And um, this can be a, a letting go usually of a very close relationship or a distancing within a very close relationship. Um, where it has felt like a soul connection, where it has felt like soul family. And um, I feel like in this situation, based on the energy that I'm feeling, even if it feels like a powerful connection, I think you know that there are just some energies that you need to walk away from. You know, there are just, sometimes even if we have a soul connection with people, they're still people and if they're not working on their stuff and they're behaving badly and they're treating us badly, then it's time for us to let it go and it's time for us to move forward and and, and wish them well and pray for them and, and send them light and love and all of that good stuff. But at the same time, we don't need to, uh, we can love them from afar. We don't need to continue to allow them to, here's the card that we had pull up, bully us, 
in our life, right? So this card came up with us. Um, who is the bully in your life? Who is bullying you? And is it you, by the way? Because sometimes it can be you, um, either treating other people badly or are you bullying yourself? How are you speaking to yourself? How can you improve that? How are you? How can you talk back to the bully in your mind? Or how can you talk back to the bully outside of you? And sometimes nothing needs to be said except for I'm done here. We're done here. You know, um, I'm not going to engage in this dynamic that we have going on anymore because it's going to be very important for you to stand your ground here, okay? Uh, have the confidence to stand up for yourself because when we can stand up to a bully, it shuts them down, right? Um, so, so where do you need to, to stand up to a bully? In your life where do you need to uh, no longer continue a particular dynamic within a relationship or several relationships in your life whatever that looks like for you so where do you need to make some changes to that I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy if you want to learn more about me or about Clarity you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button I would love to hear from you and comments below and if you haven't subscribed yet that button is right below this video and hit the bell for notifications thanks so much guys and I will see you soon with another video